I just want to make this video to put the word out. If you guys are like me, and it's been a while since you've replaced storage inside your late 2013 model of MacBook Pro with Retina Display, don't make the same mistake I did today. I went out and purchased this one terabyte replacement of SSD by Samsung, thinking I would upgrade the 512 megabyte SSD that was installed on this machine from factory. Once I took the back panel out using this screwdriver, and as I was about to take the one terabyte SSD out of its packaging, getting ready to plop it inside this MacBook Pro, I immediately noticed that there wasn't a place for this version of SSD inside this MacBook Pro. Upon closer look, I realized that the storage of this computer comes in the form of this PCIe module. This was less than a pleasant surprise, and I squarely blame myself for not finding out ahead of time and only assumed that this MacBook Pro runs on a regular, regular SSD similar to ones I have replaced in the past on different uh, versions of MacBook Pros. This particular laptop is a model number A1502 EMC2678 which is helpful to know, especially when you're trying to figure out the model of your laptop when it was introduced and what kind of an SSD it takes as an upgrade or replacement. There is a useful website called everymac.com. It helps you correlate your MacBook Pro to the model number and the date your Mac was first began being sold. Knowing this information would help you avoid the same mistake I did. Once you have found your model, you would arm yourself with knowledge to go out and purchase the correct storage replacement and avoid embarrassing yourself like I did, even if only to myself, and with the publication of this video to the rest of the world. Once you have found out the exact type of storage your laptop takes, you would head over to another website called MacSales.com, which will take you to eShopMacSales.com, rather eShop.MacSales.com. So I went to this website, MacSales.com, and found the storage module that would work inside my laptop. As of today, May 2nd, 2016, this website sells this module for $594.99. I ordered the storage, plus I paid the $21 for next day delivery fee. And just to be sure, prior to the purchase, I had called the phone number listed on the website. There was a friendly sales representative who, after taking all the information pertinent to this laptop, assured me that this module will in fact work in my late model 2013 MacBook Pro with Retina Display. What a mouthful. The module that Apple equipped this laptop with is made by Samsung, and surprisingly, I couldn't find anything made by Samsung as a replacement or an upgrade in storage capacity. I figured I would shoot a quick video that will helpfully be of assistance to others out there and to have the resources to be able to complete the upgrade without getting lost in the process. This is the screwdriver that you will need to remove the back plate of the laptop. And this is the tiny screw that you will be removing with this screwdriver. One thing to note, this screwdriver will not work to remove the PCIe module. That For that, you will need a different screwdriver. At least I had enough sense to purchase the right screwdrivers prior to attempting the disassembly. I purchased this Pro Tech screwdriver set at Amazon.com for $64.99 and it's by iFixit. Obviously, this set contains both of the screwdrivers needed to remove the back cover and the PCIe module. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the screw that goes into the back cover and the screwdriver that it takes to remove that shiny screw as well as the black screw that holds the PCIe module and the screwdriver it takes to remove it. 
meaning the existing SSD module. One last thing to remember, once you've completed the SSD replacement and you are getting ready to put the cover back on your laptop, pay attention to the following. Out of the total of 10 screws that are holding the back plate, there are two screws that are shorter than the other eight. At the back of the cover, next to the MacBook Pro's stamped identifier, that's where you put the two shorter screws. The other eight go, obviously, uh, everywhere else. I hope this video was helpful, and as a result, you will have a trouble-free upgrade of the storage in your late 2013 MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Good luck.